to own school too. Do what the active could they do? Don't come here and begin to use an excuse of uh, uh, all of them too. They forged their certificate. I keep telling you. And I will never stop reminding you. Uh -huh. You and your what about him? What about that one? What about that one? What about that one? Mayegun, let us be fear. What about Obi? What about him? If you give uh, like Atiku, they do right now. If you do the same thing for Obi, if you do the same thing for Atiku, Mayegun will open the show like this. I go break him down for everybody because Nigeria is successful of aware your leaders, your criminal leaders are certificate forgers. But there is more to that. There is more to what they are doing. But before I go into the effect of all the all of this that are already happening, right? Uh, the uh, was OBIFM, uh, you know, Tunde Dizu. Listen to this. Punches paper page eight. Chicago Varsity releases Tinubu's records to Atiku. <laughs> you know why I'm laughing? Why? I was up, and I mean it. Even my guest I was supposed to have this morning, I still spoke to him, sent him a message at one, and then I sent him another message at four. And then we got another message at seven. Then the bus now bubbled when we were about to get him ready to come to the studio that all we can talk about now is mm. that the papers have been handed over to Atiku. What Atiku has in his hands, only Atiku can tell us. Hmm. Why I say so is that you needed, why I'm laughing at myself, is you needed to see me running between Twitter and everybody, all kinds of, oh, the, the man in his form was female. Is he a he, is he a she, and so on and so forth. We will hold our gunpowder until Atiku tells us. What is God? What is God? Because there's so much fake news going all over. Right. But there is something I miss. Like we said last week, somebody wouldn't be going to court to stop you from, if you'd like, self, I will give you my, I'll get you it a true certified true copy by myself and give it to you you know because i i i don't like i don't like any death you know mm -hmm. so if you tell me Jimmy, you are not qualified to do the job you are doing will it, before you finish it I, I, I won't be looking for friends who will tell me they went to school with me that one will happen on his own it's a mess that we have on our hands but we cannot as far as this story goes we can't do much until mr abubakar atiku tells us what was given to his lawyers. And so we will have to be patient. We can't go by news in the social media, unfortunately. Uh, it's not that I don't believe some of the news in the social media because I know that there's no smoke without fire. But I'm just hoping that um, when everything is finally released, everybody involved, everybody involved mm. would A, put the nation first, B, do the honorable thing, even that, if that's the only thing any one of them have done in their lives. Remember what, what President Jonathan said, that it's not worth, you know, and today's an honorable man, he's free to go everywhere. Mm -hmm. that it's not worth, mm -hmm. The same thing is not worth bringing down a country. No, it's not. If your ambition it's is not. threatened. It's not. And I repeat, that goes to everybody. It's not. Nobody's ambition. Nobody's ambition. And also, if we know that we want to move forward, in this country, from this so far, so far away, we day inside. We should not have any form of, of, of uh, 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 we should not embrace any form of criminality. Because it has to start from somewhere. But when we get to that bridge and we, we know what, what it is in that document, I think it's bad enough that anybody is accused of so many things I'm saying. But then again, one has to be careful. I, I, know, what you, I know what you're saying. What more do you need? <laughs> He's trying not to drop it. He's holding back, but at the same time, he's pretty much like a boy. Ah, ah. If the whole world now knows that you're president, no matter the narrative they give you in Nigeria, do you understand? Whatever they'd like to say to you, whatever they like, let them continue to say to you in Nigeria. Don't listen to them. They are just sending me this or that. The consequences. It's not consequences. Consequences of this. Eh? Will be so devastating. It's already starting. Where everyone who is from Nigeria will now be officially identified as somebody who probably have something dubious, dubious doing something, something that if you shake, if you shake that Nigerian, something will drop illegally. 
So we would then have to be subjected to that uh, profiling again. Eh? The rest of the world knows. They do. And people are now asking that the best thing for Atiku to do right now, okay, is for him to call for world com conference. If truly, eh, he has his own uh, a party with him, call for national uh, protests until the Supreme Court and the judiciary in Nigeria would have to ask Tifnumbu eh, to honorably resign or he will be removed, arrested, and tried. I know, I know, I know, I know. Imagination no go kill me. I said what people are saying. It's not me, okay? I know, say, you know, it, go, it sounded like uh, eh, too much imagination. Uh, vivid imagination. Complex as I use imagination. But however, people are asking Atiku to come out and tell the whole world what they gave him. So around that time, you can then know if Nigerians have been conquered or not. You see, there are two things that uh, somehow, somehow, I have been thinking. And I think I should share that with you. I don't know if you are thinking that same thing, but maybe I can get you to start thinking it. Most of what you are reading today about Tinumbu and all of that, they are mostly not uh, so, so new. All thanks to social media that has given uh, access to more audience, millions of audience all over the world that these guys cannot uh, reach or control. Do you understand that now? However, eh, I believe that this generation of young people who are coming across all of this new stuff about Tinubu, they, they are new to them. And let us all kind of not pretend to. Every time people will come here to remind me, Dr. Agbede, I know if I open the line tonight, Dr. Agbede will have a message for me, a message for all of us. You, this Mayegu, all you do is talk, 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 talk. My yansh is out now. What you do is talk, 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 talk. I appreciate that when you keep reminding us that uh, we are still talking. But there is something I want to remind all of you, whether you want to acknowledge it or not. And that is, because of platforms like this, and many, many platforms like this, on social media and even offline, you can tell that uh, more Nigerians Eh, are now politically conscious than any generation, so to say. Yeah, you know, you might think people are stupid. Ah, they are so dumb. They are not waking up and all of that stuff. I want you to please calm down. Today, you have young, young people, even not so young people, who are now based on their own understanding and available information, the available information to them, they have now been able to question eh, everything they've been told. In the process, they are now challenging them. You might think they have not coordinated themselves to actually uh, you know, uh, bring the entire system down, but they can do it and they will do it. Every day, eh, tons of information are dropping on their laps. So many of them, they have no idea what to do with them, but they are not ignorant. They are not ignorant. And the reason why today, you can see that the establishment in Nigeria, they hate social media so much. Even when they also peddle their propaganda on the same social media, it is not winning. You know why? Because young, young people have access to real information. People now have access you see, people will call in and say, you know, politically, I wasn't this politically conscious about Nigeria. I never really mind. I never really cared. But having watched, I mean, watching Mayegu and listening to other platforms like this, you know, my mind, I've always been racing. I've been questioning a lot of things. And I want things to be different. 
So it is a revolution that is already ongoing. But because they never the they never the naked them dragged if no for street, body long street. All of them policemen, everybody don't run away. You know what I mean? Like, because you haven't seen that, it's making every one of us to feel like we are just talking, 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 talking. These guys are so scared of social media. You have no idea. They believe their money got them everything. But today, whether you want to say some people are still stupid, you are saying they are stupid because you are now somebody who knows better. There are many, many of us that a uh, few years back, we were like those stupid people we call stupid today. How many of you have kind of will look back and say, man, I wish I never actually did all I did for these people when, uh, you know, five, ten, I mean, five years, ten years ago, I was so stupid. I was so ignorant. But you, because you know better today, you are angry. Eh? And you are calling others who have no idea. So with time, eh, they too will know, more people will know, because you can really see easily see the tension in them. They are worried. So it's a step by step. You may not acknowledge it, it's okay. But me, Mayegun, I have been doing this for 10 years. And that is me just being like, uh, you know, giving you uh, a decade of it. 11 years to be precise. I have been doing this for 11 years. Eh? I have been attacked directly by the same people who are victims of uh, bad leadership in Nigeria. The victims of all of these criminals for 10 years. A lot of them who today, a lot of you watching me today and say, I love this guy. I love, I love Mayegun. You didn't love me from the beginning. I was irritant from the beginning, remember? Because you were somewhere then. Now, a lot of us have known better. Now, you probably will look back to things you, defend, you defended about Nigeria 10 years ago, five years ago, even a year ago, that today, you are one of those who are now condemning the, those things. So that is improvement. That is growth. Thanks to all of these platform, platforms like this, the ones that continue to keep your sanity. You know, when you sit down and you feel like, ah, am I mad? Am I going crazy? Like, uh, what is all of this? I mean, I don't even understand this. Platforms like Mayogun's Diary Political will continue to put you on the track so that you will never, ever be vulnerable or susceptible to their fraudulent uh, manipulation. And the number is growing. Go everywhere. During that election, eh? As they were promoting tribal, religious, uh, Emilokon, uh, the the uh, people uh, from the eastern part of Nigeria, as they were promoting those divisions, young young people from the north to the south to the west to the east, or young young people, they were all on social. I mean, on TikTok, eh, demystifying all of these uh, demigods because they now know better. They may be young, they may not be able to vote in most of the election yet, but they now know better. See, go and see all the videos they make about Tetif Numbu, because they now know better. They know what is wrong with them. With the information available to them, this, this, uh, critics, this criminals, eh? this whole uh, fiefdom of these criminals is not going to last. It is a crumbling empire. Tetif Numbu may be the Alaska bar. He may struggle enough that they will still keep him, but I promise you this. The rotten establishment in Nigeria is a collapsing empire. And they were fighting their last battle as you are fighting for your lives. They are fighting eh, for their lives too. And they will throw everything at it with the right information, right orientation, right motivation. Young, young people will overrun these people and their supporters. Do you understand? So if you see any of them still defending them right now, you stay on track. They will soon join you. And they will join you. Uh, and they will be more angrier than uh, you when they will go after their criminal leaders. It's a matter of time. And again, it is an opportunity for the Nigerian judiciary uh, to, at the same time, save themselves. But we are just being too nice. Nigerian judiciary save themselves. Are you, are you, are you joking? How could they save themselves from what uh, they are the product of? So, of course, they have already started issuing warning. Nigerian uh, Supreme Court has issued warning to all of you that you think if you are intimidating us on social media, that is why that is how we are going to now give judgment to Atiku or Obi. You can go to all of every you can go to everywhere all over the world for your evidence. Okay. The bottom line, the bottom line is that uh, we are not intimidated. We don't give a damn about that. We will give our ruling and nothing is going to happen. 
And that is where people are now saying that, like Peter Obi, like uh, Atiku, Peter Obi knows that if he, Peter Obi, decided to just uh, call a world uh, conference and said, obedient Nigerians, at this point, eh, your destiny and your future is in your hands, okay? Take back your country. It won't last for one hour. Eh? Everywhere go red. Obi knows that. But he chose this uh, avenue of, uh, oh, let us do the real process. Because Obi knows, if they don't, uh, if he doesn't follow that, uh, the, that particular process, which is to protect the elite and whatever they have, by the time all of you go out now, you will not go even know which one is OBC, uh, OBC uh, investment, OBC uh, business, OBC uh, interest. By the time you are done, even Obi go collect. And his friends and his associates and everybody go collect because they are the elite. It's going to be a campaign of uh, eat the rich, eat the rich. Since uh, the poor have nothing else to eat anymore. They say what, a day is coming that the poor will have nothing to eat but the rich people. So Obi, that is uh, the leader, he will go collect, and he will collect massively gone. And it is the same thing for Atiku. Atiku and Obasanjo ran Nigeria in, a, in such a way that, uh, in, in fact, today, when people look back and say Atiku and Obasanjo time is still the best uh, in Nigeria. But it was also the time that uh, a government that destroyed education in Nigeria, Obasanjo and Atiku destroyed education when they had the chance of uh, fixing it once and for all. When they came out of the asshole rock, Atiku had, uh, I mean, built himself. American, uh, you know, he called it Am Apti, American British uh, University. That is exactly what Atiku built, a private university. Obasanjo also went on to go and build himself another private university. Eh? Bell's uh, University, Abi Bell's schools. While uh, they provide education for the richest students, I mean, they, they reach their friends' uh, children. Uh, you know what I mean? The education sector in Nigeria continues to go down the, down the drain. So Atifku knows if he called the World Press Conference tomorrow and release all they have on Tinumbu and ask his own party men and uh, his party supporter elected and all of them to begin to occupy all the, all the institutions in Nigeria and demand for Tifnumbu to resign. Like you will see, opposition in other parts of the world. Now only in Nigeria, you go to see opposition. Opposition will be saying na best friends to the ruling party and the ruling people in power. They go to pretend say that they fight themselves, but they are actually friends. They, do, they will say, we don't want to heat up the polity. We don't want to cause a... It's, it's a lie, yo. Because they know that they are not different from the people they are trying to replace. Since they are not different, if all of them start now, now that time you're going to go show, say, you self will we not like you. You self go collect. You don't call of all of us out. So because of that, they will now say the reason why they can't do that is because DSS is going to arrest them. All over the world, the ruling party, when they get provoked, they will arrest their own opposition. It is only in Nigeria. I know that uh, Nigeria oppositions are very scared of being arrested. They are scared of being charged with uh, treason if they try to mobilize their own supporters. But Nigerian opposition, they have millions of supporters, the ones they claim to be fighting for. Don't get me wrong. I know how it is in Nigeria, so don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, eh, the reason why they will not want you to shut down the country because of all of this, that this person cannot continue to tarnish our image. This person cannot continue to turn us, all of us, into a profiling of people all over the world. This person, nobody is going to come and invest in Nigeria. Seriously, nobody is coming. Eh? I don't know if you have heard. Maybe you know, say, they don't cut the power supply to the Nigerian Republic. Nigeria has no refinery that is refining any crude oil. Nothing. You have to import all of your petrol, Abi, and your diesel. And you have already cut off electricity to the Nigerian Republic. Bokwari invested there you know, he invested over 200 billion era of your money in Nigeria Republic, helping them to upgrade their refineries. And their refineries improved from, uh, you know, to uh, 250,000 per liter, 250,000 liters of uh, petrol per day. 
They have now moved on to over 400,000 liters per uh, petrol. They are one of the major people supplying petrol to Nigeria. The subsidy people, you they pay subsidy to. Now they've canceled that contract that uh, no, none of their oil should be sent to Nigeria anymore. Your shege is loading and they won't want you to take them up on that because they don't want to be arrested. Atiku doesn't want to be arrested. Possibly Obi doesn't want to be arrested too. And then may, maybe a lot of you also don't want to be killed because you know Mayegun, you know it now. Eh? Uh, they will bring out their soldiers now and they will start killing people. They will start arresting people. Omo, you said somebody, I mean, somebody is trying to make all of us who we are not. And you are there. Eh? And those who are probably supposed to be the leaders of millions of people, eh? they don't want to go to prison. They don't want to be charged for treason. You don't want to get shot. And the real of us are now waiting for the Supreme Court Abi, to do the job. Now, here is the point. This is the point. Everything is going to get to that stage whereby eh, there will no longer be a tiku having any leverage to have uh, to motivate uh, motivate uh, or mobilize his own supporters anymore because they will need money, Abi. Uh, Peter Obi will no longer have that leverage as well to, mot to mobilize his own supporters anymore. So at the end of the day, you are going to realize that everybody's going to come back to be like, it is now your battle. Sure you get. And whatever you do, you are just going to be responsible for it. Others are now asking, the National Assembly to do something. And I'm like, are you joking? Are you, are you serious? Nigeria National Assembly to do what? Akpa Bioli, Ati uh, Abasi, remove Tif Numbu, impeach him. Okay, others are asking him to resign. And I was like, oh, my imagination will go kill all of you. These guys have captured Nigeria. They have captured all your institutions. Nobody is going to stop them. You don't get that. It's only when you realize that if you don't stop them, you will just have to learn how to get used to this. I don't know. You, you, you survived the uh, Bokwari. Bokwari we submitted the Nepa bill. Eh? It ruined you for straight eight years. Handed you over to Kalu. And according to them, all of you, all of us are just crying. Chebina so una cried about uh, Bokuari. Abi, Tifnumu will do it years. And there is nothing anybody can do about it. Uh, there is a lot, a lot of people will do about it. Let's start from the fact that uh, the world now kind of knows that our 419, that they knew about Nigeria all this while, the one that a lot of people have done so much, who are Nigerians have excelled in different uh, fields, eh, in their different chosen careers, in Nigeria and even outside Nigeria, all over the world. Nigerians who have put Nigeria name in the, on the map for positive things. Nigerians who did all of this by themselves, individually, and then uh, collectively in some cases. Today, the uh, the idea of Nigeria, of Afrobeat, Nigeria, of uh, you know amazing uh, people, and with so much a uh, diversity, and every other bubble they sold to all of us, is all gone. The world is going to come back to remember us as uh, the drug trafficking country, a narco state. The world is going to come back to know that uh, officially money laundering. Eh? Uh, and then, uh, you know, uh, certificate forgery and all of that, everything that will come out of Nigeria now must be scrutinized before Nigeria compromise the standard of the rest of the world. You know, there is nowhere in the world, there is no country in the world that can take Nigerians en masse. Nowhere in the world we are going to end up uh, wallowing in that contraption and opportunities are all, I mean, are going to continue to be scarce and scarce and scarce. The reasons why Nigerians are poor is simply because the space of opportunity have been so suffocated. 
it has been so, uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah, suffocated, so to say, to the point that uh, what Nigerians lack, young and old, is opportunity. A lot of Nigerians, thanks to social media and the internet, they have been able to build careers, train themselves, build careers that have taken them out of poverty, even though they didn't leave Nigeria. All of these are going to further put to question now. A lot of people are going to question you. I mean, you would have a lot to prove now than before that uh, you are not like other Nigerians. You haven't done anything wrong, okay? It is just that uh, elections have consequences. Starting from the UK, the old searchlight is starting. A lot of you will remember Tiamiu, that uh, Aaron Koda came to the UK on a dependent uh, visa with uh, his supposed arranged wife or so. He came to the UK and decided to become travel agent on social media. He opened up a YouTube channel, opened up a Facebook channel, and then he started telling people how they can forge their certificates, forge their uh, CVs, forge this, forge that, uh, forge marriage this and that, and come to the UK as a couple, or as a stu as students. This guy decided to invite uh, BBC to tell them what they didn't know. Nigerians forge certificates for their immigration application and all of that. Now, who ask you? Well, the result is out. I know you have seen this. Listen to this again. Hundreds of UK registered nurses must retake their boards after widespread fraud has been uncovered at a Nigerian testing center. They are suspected of obtaining their results fraudulently through the uh, Nursing Midwife Council exam by using proxy testers, stand-ins to take their tests for them. That it was actually Pearson View that tipped off regulators. So 515 UK nurses tested at the center and at least 48 are suspected. And now all of them must retake the test. They're being given three chances to take it and pass. If they refuse to take it or fail after three attempts, they're going to have to go to an investigative committee. And additionally, 669 of 1,440 who have applied to the UK register after testing at that center in Nigeria are suspected to be fraudulent applicants. And they're also required to take a new computer-based test. It, it just keeps happening. Hundreds of UK registered nurses. It just, keep, uh, it just keeps happening. Because you cannot compromise the standard here. Do you understand? You can't. And there's no way it's not going to show up. Now that your president is uh, the, the forger-in-chief, certificates, grand certificate forger-in-chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, somebody will no go school, is now commanding the armed forces of Nigeria. Person will forge certificates, is now controlling professors, scholars, educators eh, in Nigeria. And you think eh, things never go south already. One of them, one of the appointees of uh, Tifnumbu, went on today for a screening as a minister, and this happened. I'll show you. Yes, this is Senator Masha. Mr. President, sitting as chair. Senator Sunday Marshall Katun, I represent the people of Kaduna South Senatorial District from Kaduna State. Mr. President, I want to thank you for this privilege to stand and speak on behalf of uh, uh, our nominee. First, to thank Mr. President for nominating him, and to quickly state that uh, the three senators from Kaduna have no objection to his. Uh, nomination. Also, to state quickly that he was also 
born in my senatorial district. He attended the same uh, A levels like me, where he also became a lecturer when I jackpot to University of the same year I jackpot to University of Lagos to commence my studies as a lawyer. Uh, he's a seasoned administrator from his resume as presented. He's also somebody who has understood the um, Mr. Can you say water, 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 give me water. Water and sugar. Water and sugar. Get sugar, sugar, sugar. And water. Is there any, where is Dr. Wale? Can, can the camera see it immediately? Water, water, sugar, sugar. That is the National Assembly that collected nearly 300 billion naira from the palliative money just about a month ago. There is no ambulance in the National Assembly. Eh? There is no doctor on site. There is no medical uh, uh, staff on site. But billions of Nigeria money is being stolen and shared inside that gathering of all those lunatics. You did hear the Senate president. Give him water, water, sugar, sugar. Water, water, sugar, sugar. And you said Nigeria is not a joke. I am proud of Nigeria. Look at the Arocos. Look at them. I did say something back then that, uh, you see these guys, they are so useless. So useless that I kind of believe they are the worst in the whole world. They intentionally didn't give you power, electricity. After 63 years of independence, 24 years of democracy, no electricity. They, they intentionally didn't give you motorable roads across Nigeria. 63 years of independence, 24 years of democracy, no real road in Nigeria. They intentionally didn't build your education system, your schools, or fund, the, I mean, fund them after 63 years and 24 years of democracy. And I can go on and on and on and on and on like that. But the problem here is that they have become so comfortable in their failure that they don't even care about their own lives too. They don't care. They can't think or they don't care that it is cheaper and safer to have a working medical system anywhere and everywhere in Nigeria, accessible, quality healthcare, than to go and pay thousands of pounds sterling, hundreds of thousands of dollars to American doctors, to British doctors in Britain, American doctors in Paris, American doctors in America. Now, when you have an emergency, they have to put you inside a plane, fly for six hours to the UK before you can go and see your special doctors with the best medical abbey. They have to fly you to Germany or France or fly you to America. Isn't that selfish in failure? They are okay with that. If any of them collapsed during their own uh, session in their National Assembly, they go to look for person who get knife. Put knife, oh yeah, yeah, put spoon, put spoon for him out. Girini, girini, girini. He don't get giri, he don't get giri. I've been a warakpa, warakpa. No, no, it's not warakpa, it's conversion, conversion, conversion. Oh yeah, give him sugar, give him water, give him milk. They go come carry, they go come carry you after 30 minutes where you don't collapse. We water everything that day your mouth and we spoon in your we spoon spoon in your mouth. Is the senator? Are you okay, senator? 
Dambaru Allah, Dambaru Allah, Shigi Allah, ah! Inu le ma hot yo. Do you understand? National Assembly of Nigeria, they don't have any medical emergency, but they always budget for it. They don't like themselves the same way they don't like all of you. They don't like us. They don't like themselves. They don't care about themselves. All they care about is what am I going to get today? Which one am I going to get from all of these? And they don't care about anything else. If there's any health scare, any health emergency, it's even inside the asshole rock, inside the asshole rock, Baba. So if you are looking for something to tell you that Nigeria is done for, then maybe I don't know. Maybe you are living under the rock anyway. Apologies uh, uh, to the uh, Nigerians in Enugu. I hear say that they owe you so much that you have to protest, Abi. How can government owe you seven months salary? What, why, why are you going to that work? How can anybody owe you salary of seven months? You cannot owe me one month salary. Eh? We say, well, I don't go shell You have to explain. Then two months, three months, seven months. It is a Nigerian thing. Just like they said it in courts in America. It is a Nigerian thing to forge certificates. It is also a Nigerian thing for criminal politicians never to pay their workers. Just loot the money. Eh? So that when you pay them, they will become so grateful. They will be thanking you. Say, ah, thank you, sir. Thank you for paying. You know, ah, he has paid the five months out of our two years uh, unpaid salary. They conditioned people to be like this. And we want to respect it. But after this one week or so, we are waiting for more discussions and expecting a result. And the only result is we are waiting for is payment of seven months. At the end of this month, it will become eight months. We expect that the government of Enugu State will pay us and pay us the arrears so that we can happily work. If you go to the unit, you can see everywhere is dry. The reason being that the nurses are not there. How is it going to be if we withdraw the whole nurses for one week? We consider the citizens of Enugu State. We don't want them to die because we know the place we occupy in health system. And we want government to also recognize that and give us what we deserve. We are only asking for our seven months salary. And we have come to talk to you. We have written asking you for this, uh, uh, giving you ultimatum, and you did not sleep. We have to appreciate you for all the effort. We have been in constant meeting with you. You have been in constant touch, showing absolute respect to the management, to, to, the, to now, to nurses of ASU Teaching Hospital. Thank you, as we, you have come. We have spoken our minds. We are in pain. We are hungry. We are starved. We are under pressure. Our children have gone to school. They have been sent back. Because they cannot pay. Some of our girls have left their marriages relocated to Enugu in order to, to work. They have been working and they need to be paid. Thank you, sir, and God bless you. Thank you. Good morning, my good nurse. Good morning, sir. And all those who are here with us, I greet you. The problem of your non-payment was the first thing that greeted me on my first day. When I was moving around, I will ask who is where the thing they say is not around. I say, nurse, uh, why is she not around? Seven months salary. And people see they go work. Eh? Because everybody is corrupt. Eh? But he's there. He's, he's doing shalaye, shalaye. Eh, they said that you go shalaye tire, no evidence. That is Nigeria. Doctors so, doctor so who are to look after people, they were owed seven months salary. And these same doctors and uh, all these nurses from all over Nigeria, they are those who are so desperate that uh, they just want to jump and leave Nigeria. And there are many others who are just like, you know what, I'm done with all of this, I'm leaving. I'll go and start afresh. They owe you seven months salary. 
How would you survive? How are they surviving? Eh? It is a Nigerian thing. They will tell you it's a Nigerian thing. So Chicago State University denied that the certificate that Tinubu is parading is not from them. They did not give it to him. And if for anything at all, if Tifnubu came, I mean, attended their school, eh, they will ask him to come and pick up his certificate. There is a certificate that the real Tinubu did not pick up. All of this drama, all of the letters you are seeing, that Chicago State University has uh, uh, released Tinubu's letter, uh, yeah, Tinubu attended our university, all those fake, fake letters you saw online, they were fake, including this uh, certificate of uh, Tifnubu. But remember what they say. Um, okay, hang on. This one is the constitution. This fake. Uh, this is fake. This INEC. I mean, sorry. This stamp. Where is that again? Eh? This stamp on this side here, which they said is from Chicago State University. Eh? They have rejected. They said no. It's not our stamp. Oh, Tinubu forged it. This logo in the middle here. Eh? They said that is not also their logo. He forged it. You see this signature on the right. Eh? Elnora. She wasn't the president of the Chicago State University at the time Tifnubu uh, said he requested for this. There is also no record of Tifnubu requesting for another copy of his uh, result because he never went there. Tinubu never went to any school. Okay? He has been walking about with a fake, fake, fake documents. And in this regard... On your screen right now is to let you know that uh, the result is out. Here you get now a lot of people, organizations, schools, they are going to go stricter now. You will need to prove more that you are not uh, fake before you can get anything from outside Nigeria now. Within Nigeria as well, a lot of people are also going to become skeptical. If a certificate forger can be your president, what else is he hiding? Who are those that are going to be working with him? You see, this is where morality also comes in. I mean, talking about people that if Nubu has given appointment to, if they also have morals, if they are not as the same person that gave them the, the appointment, at least you will be expecting them now that to start resigning and say, you know what? I am resigning from this government. I'm so sorry. I don't want to be part of this government anymore but nigeria politicians don't resign they double down they give you excuses they tell you to look away move on he's not the only person that is doing it why are you so why are you so interested in tinubu i am so interested in him because nigerians uh, who are supporting him they were not even enough to give him power he rigged himself in an election that is so controversial now he's an imposter. Everything that he presented, he has he committed a perjury, identity theft, he is a criminal, and being the parading himself as president of Nigeria, I I, I would have to start uh, answering why I am not a criminal, even though I'm from Nigeria, because of him. So I'm not going to stop talking. Leave him alone. Ogunlo Makpayo, Tobato Sombe can leave Tifnumbu alone. Ogun, o lo makpai o, lo makpai, lo makpai te ron te ron o. E kwe lo ron yigba o. I did not uh, in any way campaign for Tifnumbu or ask anybody to support Tifnumbu. I happen to be one of those who told you when the shit hit the fan, eh? Even those who no support them go collect. Now, na jeje I dey here, screaming every now and then. Now, I would have to prove myself that I am not a criminal. I am not a certificate forger. The green passport, if I take it anywhere, I am going to be scrutinized. Possibly they are going to take me into a room and tell me to take off all my clothes. They want to, and then bend my house. A drug dealer is uh, the president of Nigeria. Certificate forger. What is my business with Tinumbu? Leave, leave him alone. It's like I'm I kind of see some of your faces. Those of you who always kind of want to say that. It's like I'm seeing your faces. You understand now? Leave him alone. 
Now, JJ with the year, he forced himself on you. The consequence of that is now that everywhere you go, you would have to explain yourself. You go explain tire. And some said, if you don't get evidence, I will learn you. Sure, you understand. So in this case, tell your children that uh, this man also supports a drug dealer, a certificate forger. And because he confessor Shoyinka, who publicly called the young people fascist, he called them names, gaslighted them, and set them up to be killed. Wale Shoyinka want the young people to be killed in Nigeria for demanding answers from the criminals who have captured their institutions in Nigeria. Tell your children, this man is not a hero. He is a zero. Eh? If, you're, if your own hero live long, they will turn to villain. Wale Shoyinka defended a drug baron. Wale Shoyinka defended a, a, I mean, a, what do you call it, a certificate forger. Wale Shoyinka attacked Nigerians because uh, they were demanding for Tifnumbu to go to jail where he rightly belong. Then on the other hand, tell your children, this is Marcus Gavi, Martin Luther King, eh? Nelson Mandela, uh, she Guevara, and every other revolutionary uh, individual and personality that you grew up uh, respecting. Tell them this is uh, David Undeni, the slayer of the mighty David that killed the Goliath. No matter what the Agbadorians, the political oceans, the, the political beggars. No matter all what these uh, unity beggars and ass leakers narrative they want to do, they want to spew. Tell your children, you were alive when this. I mean, David, son of Undeni, took the mighty in Nigeria to the gutters with evidence. If you didn't take anything from this conversation tonight. I hope this particular one should motivate you to let you know that the future that your children are going to feature in, you better be part of those that will write it. I want to be part and parcel of those that will write the scripts for the future that I, my children, are going to feature in. And that future... It's going to be a future devoid of uh, praising, defending criminals in public offices who are, in so many ways, eh, against the civil liberty of uh, humanity, the God-given right, fundamental human right. Animals who have now decided to take away those rights from us and keep us short. The future they want to picture for us, the future they are trying to work for us, is a future of slavery, drug peddling, money laundry and terrorism, corruption from all, I mean, at all scales, like from you know, corruption in monumental scale, a future of penury, poverty, fear and i say no to that when you see the criminals mention them and don't forget if youtube says this video also offended tifnumbu or it has made uh, the lagos abobaku so man abroad to lose their shit again well i have delivered the uh, what I already have to deliver to everyone tonight. The message is delivered. So if they want to shut down the YouTube, they can go ahead now. And if they can't shut it down, ladies and gentlemen, meet me here again tomorrow. And thank you for spending your evening with me. Share this broadcast. 
you can still like it. Look out for the replay tomorrow or the premiere. And that is if uh, the Mayago's diary political is still active tomorrow. If it's not, you are going to hear from me. I'm not going anywhere. Again, you have a wonderful night, okay? And thank you. Good night.